The final verdict of the court's citizen jury in the matter of the people versus Canada, the Crown of England, the Vatican, and the Anglican, Catholic, and United Church of Canada, and their officers and other parties for crimes against humanity and criminal conspiracy. Case number one in the docket of the court. Let it be known and duly recorded that the verdict from the jury members reads as follows. After careful deliberation of all the evidence and facts presented to us, and in the absence of any case or response by the defendants, it is the unanimous verdict of we the citizen jury of the International Common Law Court of Justice that 1. The 30 named defendants in this case are guilty as charged on the two indictments. That is, they are guilty of committing or aiding and abetting crimes against humanity and of being part of an ongoing criminal conspiracy, and that 2. The named defendants in this case shall receive the full sentence recommended by the prosecution. We the jury hereby declare our free and unanimous decision and discharge our duty under the common law. We thank the court for granting us this responsibility. Date of this 21st day of February in the year 2013. This court recognizes the validity and lawfulness of the decision of these jurors according to the common law precedent that a quorum of 12 citizens is required and sufficient for any just and lawful verdict. It is now the duty of this court to confirm this verdict and impose sentencing and enforcement against the defendants. This court therefore finds the 30 named defendants in this case and their institutions guilty as charged on the two counts of the indictment of having committed or aided and abetted crimes against humanity and of being part of an ongoing criminal conspiracy. The court imposes the following sentence on the defendants and their institutions. 1. Each of the defendants is hereby sentenced to 25 years involuntary confinement in a public correction facility without the possibility of parole. 2. The personal assets and property of each of the defendants is forthwith confiscated and will be distributed to the victims of their actions and policies, or to the surviving members of the victims' families. The assets and property of the institutions of which the defendants are the responsible officers are hereby publicly expropriated and are declared to be the common wealth and property of the people as a whole. In addition, the archives, records, and facilities of these institutions are declared open and are henceforth in the possession of the people. 4. These institutions of church and state are henceforth and forever legally, politically, and morally disestablished, and are prohibited from operating or existing within our communities or anywhere within the jurisdiction of the common law and the law of nations, including the 15 nations represented in this court. These institutions are permanently banned from our midst. 5. All of the citizens of these nations, and within the jurisdiction of the common law and the law of nations, are hereby and forever enjoined and ordered to abide by and enforce this sentence. These citizens are hereby authorized to act as legal agents of this court and this sentence by peacefully occupying and seizing the property, assets, and movable articles of these institutions of church and state, and declaring them to be under the common ownership of the people. 6. The peace officers of these nations are hereby instructed to assist in the enforcement of this just sentence, and in this process of peaceful reclamation by adhering to their oath of office, and keep the peace by protecting the agents of the court and others engaged in the enforcement of this sentence. 7. The legal agents of the court and all those citizens who act to enforce this sentence are, as of March 4, 2013, armed with an international citizen's arrest and reclamation warrant to be issued by the court that authorizes them to enter any facility of the defendants and immediately detain them and their accessories in order to enforce this sentence. 8. Finally, the court orders the continued investigation of the crimes of the defendants and their institutions and their accessories. The costs of this case and subsequent cases arriving from this sentence are levied on the assets of the defendants and their accessories. The defendants are hereby given seven days from, from this date to voluntarily surrender themselves and their assets and property to the agents and common law peace officers of the court, or face immediate arrest and confinement by our agents and common law peace officers according to the sentence. A court order is hereby issued to that effect. After seven days, commencing on March 4, 2013, these court officers will begin to make such arrests and enforcements. As of that date, March 4, 2013, 
the property and assets of the named institutions can be lawfully and legally occupied and seized by these officers and all citizens who act to enforce the sentence of the court. The court excuses the jury members and declares its proceedings concluded. This court is adjourned until the commencement of the next case in its docket issued and entered into the permanent record of the International Common Law Court of Justice, Monday, February 25, 2013.